guys, welcome back to another episode of The Method to My Maddiness. I'm your host, Maddie Smith, and I'm here today to share a poem with you that changed my life. This is a poem that came to me as a gift from my mother, and when she first gave it to me, I was going through a really hard and challenging time in my life a couple years ago and I decided that I would read it every day and it became my manifesto. For every day that I read it, there was a different line that would stick out to me as something I wanted to incorporate into my persona and to kind of think about in terms of how I thought about things and thought about life and how I treated myself and how I treated other people and what I could do differently to kind of shift those things in order to really embody this poem. Also, every day that I read this poem, another line would stick out as a tearjerker. And it wasn't for maybe a couple years that I would read it and finally be able to get through it without crying. They weren't always tears of sadness and sorrow, but they're definitely tears that struck my heart. And I thought it would be really important for me to share it with you guys in case it relates to one of you guys and what you're going through. So I'm going to ring the singing bowl and we'll get going. It's a poem that was written in 1927 by a gentleman by the name of Max Ehrman, and you may already know it. It's called Desiderata, the root word um, which is desire. Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. Even to the dull and the ignorant, they too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons for their vexations to your spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career However humble, it is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially, do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love. For in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is perennial as the grass. Take kindly to the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether it is not clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive Him to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations and the noisy confusions of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful and strive to be happy. So I hope this helped you guys today. It definitely, like I said, got me through a couple of rough patches in my life. I have it framed on my wall and I look at it every day. Give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let me know what your favorite poem has been. What's lifted you up when you've been in tough times. I look forward to hearing from you guys.
Hope you have an amazing week. Uh, check back next Friday. I'll be posting another video, another episode of The Method to My Maddiness. Thanks! Only love.